without water, you're basically fucked. So here are some ways that you can get clean drinking water in the field. The Holy Grail, here it is. This exploded onto the market. This is a beautiful system. You simply find a water source, you pull it out, there's a filter in it, you dip it in the water source, you put the filter on, you squeeze it down, you've got clean drinking water. Now the problem with that is that all humans and animals need water. So that means they're all going to be looking for water sources, which means that that creek or that lake, whatever the water source is, that's a very dangerous spot because everybody's coming to it. You need water, they need water. So that, your security is extremely compromised. Okay, and something, an issue with the grail is that I get up there, okay, I've got to dip it in that water, I've got to set it down, then I've got to push it, filter it, disinfect it, and go. So it's not like I can just run up, scoop up water, make a run for it, because it's going to be sloshing everywhere. So there's a little bit of an issue with how much time you're going to be spending at that water source where you're vulnerable. But all in all, the grail, love it. Now you'll hear a lot of people say the word purify, purify the water. That's not correct. What you're doing is disinfecting the water. Disinfecting the water gives you clean drinking water. United States military issue, plastic canteens. Great pieces of kit. I love this one. This is the two quart, one quart. Excellent pieces of gear. The downfall is that if you were in a situation where you need to boil the water to disinfect it, they say that basically you have three days without water and you're dead. 2% tincture of iodine. If you research it and find out how many drops you need per the amount of water you have, it comes with a little dropper. You drop, 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 drop. Let it sit. And you've got disinfected water that you can drink. This also acts as medical. Any kind of wound that you get, you're going to simply take out the 2% tincture of iodine, place it on that wound, it's going to do it real good. The 2% tincture of iodine is a multi-purpose tool that you want to be carrying. Water purification tabs, excellent tool. Okay, little tabs, you can see them there. You just simply drop into your water source, your container, and let it do its work. Again, you have to know how much water you're trying to disinfect and how long you need to leave these in there. You drop two in, shake it, and let it sit for an hour. Whatever the instructions tell you, you have to research it and know what size water you're trying to disinfect. But this can be disinfecting while you're on the move. So it's a great, great tool. Water purification tablets, chemical disinfectation. Did I just make that word up? Disinfectation? <laughs> Common household bleach. Clorox. This will disinfect water. You just need to know how much water you need to disinfect. Now your water may taste like shit afterwards, but at least you know it's clean and ready to drink. Metal containers. This is a 1944 and 1945 World War II canteen and canteen cup. Now what you're going to see a lot of times is the recommendation to always carry a single wall stainless steel carrier container. So that way you can put this over fire, bring it to a boil, therefore disinfecting it. What works great is just having a cup. So for example, if all I had was this plastic canteen, but I had a steel cup, best of both worlds, because now I can chemically disinfect this, but I can also gather water in this plastic canteen, which will now be called dirty, pour it into my canteen cup, cover that with a rock, and disinfect it over a fire. Bring it to a boil. Say you're in the desert. There's no water. You've got to bring it with you. That's where you learn about the weight of water. Water is the heaviest thing, aside from your ammo, if you're carrying ammo, that you're going to have on you. So this right here is two quarts of water. And this is coming in at, I believe this is about four pounds. Get four and a half pounds and put it on you. It's heavy. The Sawyer Mini. Here you can see it in orange. Great tool, incredible kit. You can use it forever and ever. Basically, they say that in your lifetime, you'd never be able to use this enough to run enough water through it in your lifetime. That's how good it is, that's how long it lasts. Issues with this in cold weather, if you've got water that's trapped inside in below freezing conditions, these will swell and 
pop. Comes with a plunger. What you do with this is fill this up with clean, disinfected water, plunge it through, cleaning it out. You're running clean water through it. You can pick these up under $20 now. Bulletproof little tool. Noise discipline with canteens is extremely important too. So for example, a full canteen, very little noise. A canteen that's half full, a lot of noise. Always have to think about that and take that into consideration. The water bladder. These are commonly known as camelbacks. You can see here I've got a voodoo tactical system. And this water bladder lives inside of this little pack. If you've ever carried a camelback system like this, which is just basically a big condom full of water, you know about the horror stories of these things popping. So, that's a big consideration with this. Are you going to risk your life? On this tool, if this pops and all the water goes out, you got problems. Last up, we've got the flask. You can fill this up with vodka, whiskey. You can also use the vodka and whiskey to clean out wounds. That's the excuse, right? But a little bit of vodka and whiskey always comes with me. That's just a real quick down and dirty look at different ways of carrying water, disinfecting water. Water is life. It's crucial. You're not going to escape it. You must have water or you're going to die. So you've got to find out what works for you. What environment are you in? Is there water available to you? Are there streams, creeks, lakes where you can gather that water? Are you in the middle of the desert? How does this fit onto your gear? How much ammo are you carrying? How much is this way? How much is this way? How much is this way? It's a lot of variables. So do your research, find out what works for you. These are just some of the things that I use. Ain't tough.